What's up guys, I'm Shaq and today we're going to review the Acer Swift 3 which I think is a great portable deal for students. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing by clicking right here so you do not miss great tech content. The model that we're going to talk about today is the 31457G which comes with 8GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, the 10th generation of the Intel i5 processor, a full HD LED display and the GeForce MX250. This comes at a price of 62,000 Indian rupees in India, something close to 800 US dollars. I've left the link in the description box below if you're interested in getting one of this. The first thing I asked myself was if I really have a laptop inside the box because this thing right here is super lightweight. So we've got a charger along with the AC power cord and the laptop right here which is super portable. I like the way they keep the package simple charger laptop boom okay so first impressions the metallic finish of the laptop is something that stays away from scratches which i like besides the charger it comes with bunch of paperwork which is common when you buy something new this is what we really call 14 inches this thing right here is super portable the adapter looks normal just like any other laptops adapter but I think that they could work more on the pin that connects into the laptop. I feel that this thing occupies a lot of space that could be used to connect other input devices. The AC cord comes with a 3 pin plug which is common if you buy a laptop from countries in Asia. This thing feels solid and robust. We've got more paperwork over here which I do not need, I'm gonna keep it aside. I like the screen to body ratio, it feels like I've got a small laptop but at the same time I've got a large screen. They actually reduced the side bezels to make the laptop more compact. It also bends up to 180 degrees smoothly. The screen quality is something I really look at before buying a laptop because it's the main interface between me and the machine and this laptop screen is well built. I'm impressed with the way the screen excludes external light interference. I've got my phone's flashlight directed to the screen and it simply doesn't reflect. Instead, my phone is the one reflecting my studio light. This helps a lot if you're using your laptop in outdoor environments where your screen is exposed to the sunlight. The fingerprint sensor speed is also fine, right on time and user friendly. Once again, boom. The keyboard is smooth, not bad at all. It sounds like this. The speakers of the laptop sound like this. It's on Zoom, Skype, Google Meet, or any other platforms. Do not buy one because you already have something much more. This is the quality that the webcam offers. The FPS value, which in simple terms means the speed, is fine. It doesn't lag but the quality could be better. Anyway, it's just a webcam. On the right side of the laptop, we've got a USB port and a single input and output audio jack port. On the left side, a Thunderbolt port, a USB, HDMI output, and the charging port. Now, let's talk about the speakers of the laptop. The audio quality, super crispy. I really love the quality that this laptop delivers, but the volume, it could be better. If you like this video, do not forget to like the video, leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel as it helps me in growing this channel. I'm gonna see you in my next video.